previously. Can you pee here? And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Renee, and welcome back to Corpse Party. We are currently looking for a bathroom for Yuka and where this key goes. So yeah, let's go do that. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I thought the key would go to that cabinet, but it doesn't seem to. So maybe it unlocks the science lab or the infirmary. I didn't even think to check there. So let's go check there real quick. Uh, okay. Let's not look at the boy again. I know we just, sorry. Excuse me, child. Are you just gonna chill there every time? I guess so. I guess the kid doesn't move. If he does, it's gonna freak me the fuck out. I know that much. All right, so maybe this will go to one of these doors here. I didn't even think about checking them. Oh, wrong button. Infirmary door is locked. Use the unknown key to open it. Hey, we can get to the infirmary. I'm so sorry, Seiko. Naomi. Hey, I can save here. This would have been helpful a few minutes ago. And it'll transmit on a drop of water comes out. I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. There's a blood spotter notebook on the desk with the word diary and in bold letters at the top. Like some sort of prop, however, it's practically molded to the desk. It can't be moved or opened. Monthly goal, wash your hands with soap. There were countless old expired medicine bottles on the shelves with faded yellow labels. A pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both blades covered liberally in blood. Lovely. So the bed's a lot less dusty than I would have imagined. Uh-huh. Big brother, I'm tired. Are you? You are? You want to take a quick rest before we go then? You rest here with me too, big brother. Uh, if you insist. If you insist, it certainly w can't hurt to lie down for a bit. You're worried leaving you here by yourself anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Wonder what time it is. Feels like it's probably time for dinner with mom. I'm not sure. My watch stopped a while ago. I want to go home. I want to quit. Don't worry. We'll get home. We'll find a way. Once we meet up with Naomi, Yoshiki, and the others, I'm sure we'll come up with something. They're all probably looking into the possible escape routes themselves right now. So we better keep on the search too, or else they'll we'll look like slackers by the time they find us. Either way, it'll work out. I know it will. <laughs> okay, if you really believe that, then I'll believe it too. <laughs> Yuka. It'll all work out, huh? We can't ever even open the windows here, much less get outside. I basically just told her we can circumvent reality. Nothing but empty words, thin as paper. But I guess it's the hope of escape that gives us a reason to keep going. To keep living. Yo, Yoshiki. All we can do is tell ourselves we'll find a way out and pray that it actually happens. Oh, where, where am I? Oh god, my head is pounding. Hello? Uh, it's, it's you. Where the hell did you take me? <laughs> where Where is Shinazaki? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hold on. Er, my legs. I can't stand up. God damn it. Damn, I nodded off. What am I doing? This is no time to be sleeping. 
Big Brother? Oh. Ah! This isn't home. Don't cry, Yuka. It's only going to be a little longer, I promise. When I get back, I'll buy you some rock candy, okay? Green kind, with the sweet red bean flavor? You bet. I know how much you've been craving it. Okay, I'll be good. That a girl. Food. Gets her every time. I'm worried about Naomi. I hope she's got someone to keep her coming. Shinohara or anyone, really. She may be strong-willed, but she loses heart really quickly if no one's there to keep her grounded. Come on, Yuka. Let's go. You can stand, right? Uh-huh. I'm okay now. If you get tired again, we can always come back. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well. So an old broken down space heater doesn't look safe to use anymore. Let's save before I look at that. Just in case. Section of old, new old newspaper on the floor. Read it. Yeah. Heavenly Post, four children abducted and killed, follow up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. A large pair of sewing scissors were found in his possession. Really, guys? And they were confined to the be the tool used in removing the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to the death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had a majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. The cranial mask was found on the floor next to her body. These children, one of them was blank when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was, but somehow, uh, yeah. The paper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Big brother, the children in this picture. Yeah, it's the girl in the red dress. <gasps> oh, that boy wearing shorts. He's the one we saw earlier. Someone seems to have made notes at the margins of the article using a red pen. Friends killed by spirits of children. Law, purpose, spread the curse, gathering. Children with no tongues, girl atop a head missing, girl in red dress. Child, victim, grudge, shape, gave shape to school building, escape. Uh, no, I just did that. Uh, I guess let's read it, uh, save. Okay. I can't take this anymore. That was Shinazaki's voice. Come on, Yuna. Let's go. Yuna? Yuka? I not play too much Final Fantasy. Beep! What, what is it? There's floor stain... Floor stain with sticky residue as if something or more likely someone were dragged down the hall. There's a metal tool of some sort lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Yeah. Acquired nail puller. It's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic, but it's not actually wet, and there's no indication as to how it got here. Well, can I use the key on this too? Can I use the nail puller on the bathroom? Use the nail puller to remove the boards? I don't know, do I use the nail puller to remove the boards? Uh, um... Um, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, Ika, it's all yours. No need for you to hold it in any longer. Good, that's a relief. There's no stalls here. So what now? Do you have to go really bad? Yes. Well, I can't hold it any longer. How about I wait outside and do what you gotta do? No, I'll keep holding it. 
Okay, but don't strain yourself. When you gotta go, you gotta go after all. Mm. Those who chose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world there are some truths that simply must be known no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly and other truths are le best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them, curses that can crush even the strongest of wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you want to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Obviously. Three of five. I can read one more. Mitsuhara really isn't anywhere to be found, is he? I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again. But I may have figured out a way of getting in contact with him at least. He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. Looks like even when we are in different spaces, we could still communicate that way. But it's not enough. There's no warmth to be felt from the written word alone. I miss our fights, our impromptu wrestling matches, but it's not just the physical contact. What I want more than anything is to see his face again. I just want to be able to see him around and make small talk, ask him how he's been, what he plans to do after school. Those simple, everyday interactions are some of my most precious memories now, what I wouldn't give to have those days back. Funny, what runs through your head when you're take, trying to make frostbitten fingers move without cracking off? Alrighty. Well... If I go back in the girls' room, is there anything else in here? I completely forgot to check. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go. Maybe I can use the nail pull to for something else. Uh, huh? Sounds like a camera. Oh, Jesus. Mashiki, you're okay. Uh, Machida, you as well. I'm so relieved to see someone else from class. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Was it... Is it... Was it a person? It's an awful sight, isn't it? it seems like a pulverized human remains to me. A bit of breast meat mixed in, so I'm guessing female. Never thought I'd see something so horrific. Makes me want to throw up. I yeah. At any rate, I'm glad you're all right. Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I only just awoke here a short while ago. I haven't encountered a single other soul. Same story as us then. My sister and I haven't come across anyone else yet. So, you haven't seen Mayu then? No, sorry. Poor girl. I'm sure she's here somewhere, shivering and crying. I need to find her. I need to be with her. I'm certain Suzumoto would be thinking the same thing about you. How about we look for her together? No, if we split up, that raises the odds of stumbling upon someone else. So I'm going to take another look around the building myself. Alright, then how about we designate Classroom 1A as an official rendezvous point? If you find any of the others, tell them we'll all be gathering together there. And we'll do the same. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Big brother, was that? Is it? Throw up? It, it's nothing. Don't look at it, okay? Come on, let's get out of here. That boy, he was taking... I'm sure it was what it looked like. Come on, let's go, okay? Okay. What was that? Smell of on human flesh is wafting through the hall. It's extraordinarily strong. What was that noise? Oh, at least I can save in here again. Oh, brother. What? This hallway goes got bigger. It's the body of a female student mm -hmm. attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID name tag. The Sashigawa Girls High School, Mika Naruse. Uh, Chihaya 
Nana, please be okay. Sorry, I'm such a coward. Exit to the second wing. The door is locked. Wall five. The boy is still over here? That's the real question, isn't it? No, the boy is not still here. The boy is gone. That's not good. Heavy cabinets collapse across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over would be far too risky. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can look through here again. No. Yeah, worth a shot. I wonder where the boy went. Okay. Well. Go back to classroom 1A, I guess. I'll choose that bucket to pee in, Yuka. Alright, or not. Whatever. Looking closely at the teacher says something seems to have been written in pen on its surface in pen. Miss Yue, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. Big brother, look, it says Miss Yue. Yeah, I recognize the sloppy handwriting. No doubt it's from Yoshiki. Which means he's also been brought here, at the very least, along with Miss Yue. So if we wait here, do you think they'll come back? I really like the coffee milk she brought us. I don't know, maybe. Though we have no way of knowing if they're in the same space as us. Huh? Words seem to have materialized, hovering in the air just above the desk surface, barely perceptible. Fortunately, the letters are very faint, so you can't quite make sense of them just yet. Uh... Okay. Use an L puller you found to smash the glass? Yes. Crash. Glass doors and pieces all over the floor around you. Fire a tiny key. Try to play the nail puller broke on impact as well, since so usefulness has come to an end. I have a tiny key. Okay. What the fuck do I use a tiny key for? Was there something else locked that I don't know about? Maybe it was that door? Save up here again. Actually, let's look at the teacher's desk. Nothing? Really? Okay. <sighs> Alright. Whatever. Man, now I really have to pee. You can use the bucket. There's pee in there in the other fucking world, so obviously you've peed in there. Just pee in there. The kid is still gone. Tiny key seems to fit the lock perfectly. Use it, yes. Door to the second wing is now unlocked. Well. Birds freezing out here. Second wing, huh? Can't believe the school is this big. Are you alright? Uh-huh, I'll be fine. Maybe there will be a facility bathroom in the second wing. Seems like we can climb this fence pretty easily and get the hell out of here. But look at those woods. It's like they go on forever. And they're completely surrounding this whole building. Ah. I guess that's not the time to be worrying about that anyway. First things first, let's take care of Yuka's predicament. Come on, let's go. Uh, okay. Eh. Whoa, this place isn't full right at all. The air is really thick. 
My brother, my head hurts. It feels like it's going to split open. Mine too. My ears are ringing. I don't think it's safe to be here for very long. Do you want to wait outside, Yuka? I definitely get the feeling you'd be safer there. No, please, take me with you. Don't leave me by myself. Well, <laughs> don't have much choice then. Alright, no need to worry. I'll stay right by your side. Okay. Order progress? Yes. Two. What the hell? I don't even begin to know what to do with that information. Rattle, rattle. Lovely. Well, this is terrifying. Alright. Staff room. The door seems affixed to the wall like a model that can't be opened. Staff room. Okay. Double staff room. Anything can happen now. More staff room. Music room. Door is locked. Okay. Music room. Door is locked. I swear to god, that just opened and closed. Wait. Excuse me? It's not a soul to be seen anywhere near the piano. Donated April 1953, Kaida Piano Classroom. The following cabinet is blocking your path. It seems extraordinarily heavy. There's glass everywhere. Climbing over it would probably be a bad idea. Why would I want to climb over it? I'll come back. Um, three, one, two. Hey, decaying corpse sitting in the chair. Luxon Senior High School, class two, four. Now Takahashi, Karen, Kaorin, I miss you. Okay. First art room. Well, okay. So plaster bust, cheap and mass produced for use in still life painting. Um, hello? Ah, big brother. I, I see her. I don't recognize the school uniform, but she looks like a living person at least. We should talk to her. Yeah, we should. Uh, hi there. We're students from a school called Kisaragi Academy, and uh, we performed this weird ritual, so my classmates and lost consciousness, so we woke up here, we found ourselves trapped here. Was it the same for you? Her expression isn't changing at all. Something's wrong. The female student is staring intently at the corner of the room, opening and closing her mouth rapidly as if chanting an incantation. Big brother. I yeah? Yet, in the grand scheme of things, they are not but a tiny samples of small, insignificant lives. These chicks are nestled within, never to be seen again, washed away by nothingness. Rising and falling in constant stream, oh, do I appreciate, oh, okay. Filled with palette knives, painting oils, and mats when there are various sundry artist supplies. Seems to be where all the water, water, 
water colored paint restored. I can't talk today. Not even a little. Oh, I couldn't even go this way. Okay. Oh, hello? I, hello? Standing right here. Your brother, it's somebody else. I guess there's a lot of people who are brought here too. Uh huh. Come on, let's follow her. You think that's a good idea? Heavenly House Elementary School, notice the school closure, 10 18, 1975. That's my birthday, um, 19 years before I was born. Due to the reputation earned by the repeated tragic incidents and accidents in and around the school, plans for its abolition have been finalized. There has been a sharp decline in registration and attendance since the initial accidents, indicating to the school board that it's our time is at an end. Sincerely regret to announce that Heavenly Host Elementary School will close its doors for the last time on November the 18th, 1975. It is through my own failings and this disdainful decision has come to pass. And for that, I must offer my deepest apologies to all who were affected. Filed to all teaching staff at Heavenly Host Elementary School, Principal Tekamin Yanagahori. Yo. Hey, hi. Sorry to approach you out of nowhere like this. We're students from a school called Kisaragi Academy and... Huh? What's wrong? No, no one believes you. Not a word. What? Hey. Yeah. Uh... Even when we finally meet other living beings, it's like they've completely lost their minds. I guess it really isn't safe to stay in here for very long. One. I have a feeling that's really important, but I don't know why. Well, that looks safe. Girls of oratory, no one authorized teasing or trickery. Anyone caught horsing around will be severely punished. Well, find the other bathroom. Hey, chick, are you still here? Oh, God. Is that another earthquake? Eek! Damn it. It's okay. It's over. You handled that very well. Here, can you stand? Uh-huh. This is four, right? Yeah. Cold. Hurts to move fingers. No strength to write on desk. Cannot talk or see friend. Tendon and leg cut. Bleeding badly. Huh. Female student's corpse lies sprawled out on the floor. There are a couple of scraps of paper from a letter set gently resting atop her bony hand. Luck is fickle, but I still have faith in it. That good luck charm, I know it's stupid, but I truly believe it works. So I know I'll see you again, Nao. If anyone else finds this letter, please wish her good luck for me. Kaoi. <sighs> Kibara. Class 2, 4, Luxern High. Okay. Aren't we just here? No, no, this is different. Boys Laboratory, any and all students responsible for damaging these facilities will be severely reprimanded. No luck in here either. <laughs> okay. Yes. Come on. Let's go this way, I guess. Maybe this is where the girl went. <coughs> Based on the size, these appear to be the remains of a senior high school student. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 2-3, Koido Fuji. 
Alright. Uh, Koito, Koito, you of all people. Three, four, principal's office, no entry permitted. Well, fucking fine. I guess let's go back this way and see if the earthquake shook something loose or open or whatever. Door doesn't seem like it even has a lock yet. It's not budging the slightest bit. The entire surface is littered with protective paper charms. Spiritual confinement, Buddhist guardianship, banishment, and malice, charm of exorcism, metaphysical barrier. What the hell? Why all those protective seals? Is there something inside? Mm. Look, you really shouldn't hold it this long. It's bad for the bladder. Why don't you just go in the corner? Oof. How about outside then, in the woods along the walkway? It should be fine, right? Okay. Floorboards seem to have shifted during the last earthquake, plugging up the hole that blocked your way earlier. Okay. What's up here? What the actual hell? I don't even begin to know what to say about that. We're gonna wait to go that way. As like, last option. Is that girl still over here? Okay. Um, can I get anything out of here? No. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Let's go back this way then. There was a shadow there, right? I'm not crazy. Hey, maybe this fell over. You know what? You keep doing your thing. Can I open this side? Nope. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead and record my progress again. <sighs> you shouldn't have any trouble getting over the fence, right? This is a bad idea. No. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. No. I'm scared. Maybe I should let my big brother come outside to keep watch. It's taller than I thought. Can I really get over it? Don't you dare. Whoopsie. Don't you dare. Eek. God damn it. Big brother? Did I fuck up? No. No. No, big brother. Ah. Um. Uh. I I'm gonna 
did that episode there. <sighs> so, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode or whatever I decide to make. Good night, setting out.